poke pokes a poop and the president too And the fancy grand banker in his three-piece suit The big sad general and all of his troops The truth of the matter is everybody poops Hello everyone, this is Unit 13 here on scene at the Homestead and I want to share with you one of two different types of bedside commodes that we have on hand for emergencies here. These things are really fantastic. They're designed to be set up by a bedside for someone who's convalescing at home so they don't have to go all the way to the restroom. But they're also designed so that you can take this back off here, raise it on these adjustable legs, and uh, it can be set up to be used over a commode. That way it has um, adjustability to use over top of anyone's toilet because it's pretty difficult to be able to add some kind of arms for individuals that need assistance getting onto the toilet, moving around there. This is really good for that. And then the other thing that's nice about this particular model is that it's got drop down arms. So if somebody needs to get onto this from a wheelchair, they can come in from the side here and slide right across and get on here. It's got a lid like your normal toilet here. And then the way, let um, me just go ahead and stick with this. To clean this is pretty easy. All of these parts come off so they can be literally soaked in disinfectant, dried off and then put back on. So that's what happens, you have a bed blowout. Each, each one of these commodes comes with a bucket that has a lid, which you can add one of these, um, those toilet bags that they make you put a powder down inside here and uh, it'll gel up all of the liquids and help take away odor from the solids. And then those things are designed to be used multiple times in my mind. So uh, there's a lid that can be closed right down on top of it to keep flies away and keep the smell out of camp. And then once, once you're done with that bag, you take and drop it inside this Ziploc bag and then supposedly you can drop this straight into the waste, a trash can, and then it goes to the landfill. So anyway, that's what they say. So that's pretty much the features of this type, except I do want to show the way that it would function and if we are using the splash guard if you really wanted to set this up another way some people are used to using drywall buckets and sawdust to dispose their waste in that's a really good way to do it you can use this with this splash guard here to make sure all that stuff funnels straight down into that a drywall style bucket or type or five gallon bucket I think it's called as well as well uh, and then this would also work really well if you just wanted to dig a hole in the ground and do your business over a hole in the ground this will make sure everything goes down there especially you got this back ridge Anybody that has experienced some of these diarrhea situations, you'll know that this ring here will really help focus or funnel that stuff down to where it should be. These things are not rust proof. There's rust along the edges here. You can see rust stain here. So if you get bleach on them, which is how I would clean it with bleach, uh, you want to make sure that you rinse it really well and then dry it good afterwards otherwise you'll end up with a lot of rust okay I'm going to bring the other one out okay it works this, this here is a another model you can see that it works the same way 
you can have a bucket for it or simply use the splash shield in a couple of different ways that I've shown. The big difference in this one is that it doesn't have adjustable arms on it. So it would be difficult for somebody, uh, let's say that you're trying to convalesce somebody in a situation, it'd be very difficult for them to just slide over onto this. Uh, same thing for the wheelchair. So that's why I like the, uh, the other model better because you can move patients or people off and on there pretty simple. But it does have the same feature where it has adjustable legs here and then this back can be removed to use over top of a, um, a toilet inside the house. These are pretty cool. They're pretty easy to obtain. You can buy new ones for, let me see, what does it say on here? For uh, about between $30 all, all the way up to a little over $100, depending on what you want for features and where you buy it. But you can get them low cost or for free off of Craigslist. I believe I've only bought one of these and that's the one with the adjustable arms. All the rest of them I got free off Craigslist. And you can tell they had, they had never been used. But the thing to remember <laughs> is to make sure that if you use a bucket like this that it has a liner in it. You really want that to have a liner. That way uh, clean up is simply a matter of just pulling the bag out and changing in a new one. And if you've run out of bags, it'd be better off to switch over to the uh, to the drywall buckets. Not long ago, one of our sewer mains broke here. We were unable to use our toilets or our sinks. It was really handy to be able to take these toilets out of storage and bring them in into the rooms where we would normally have toilets and you use these things in, in an, pretty much an instant. It took less than 10 minutes to get them out and get them set up. So that was really handy and I, I hadn't thought about like our sewer not really working well at the house like that but Thank goodness we have these on hand. I don't, I don't know what we would have done because it took three days before they could get out here and fix it. We keep, uh, let's see, we keep a total of five of these on hand. We have one for each of our tents. So if somebody needs to go to the restroom in cold weather, a storm, or in the middle of the night, they don't have to get up and leave their tent. They can stay right there and use this. Or as you can see in this pop-up here, we have the commode set up in there, and then we set up a small table that's got butt wipes, toilet paper, and then magazines. So somebody could use that just as a regular toilet. And then there's also another one set up where um, it's in one of these pop-up shelters that... Uh, is big enough to set up a shower and have a, another one of these commodes in it. These things are super handy and they're well worth making the effort to get one, especially if you can get them really cheap off Craigslist. It's a really good deal there. Alright, that's all I've got. This is Unit 13. I'm out. Engine 49, rescue 85 to the 6, 817, Fries Avenue. Rescue 809, rescue 4, chest pain. 527 South Crocker Street.